In this screencast video lecture, we will try to know about the biosynthesis of the cell structures, especially cell wall, capsule and flagella, how they are made there in a bacteria by using the sugar such as a glucose. The whole biosynthesis process has been very clearly and simply explained there through this image. If you look at nutrients are the one that makes about the entire cell structure there in a bacteria. What are all nutrients? Nutrients refers to any elements or molecules or something that is present in a organic form or inorganic form that have been taken there inside the cell system. Mainly this consumes the macro elements and micro elements which we have studied earlier and it also constitutes the various kinds of vitamins, amino acids and even the nucleotides. So they are all considered as the nutrient there in the cell system. So these nutrient are all entering inside the cell system there they are converted into precursor metabolites. So before going into this one you need to understand how the precursor metabolites are formed. If you look at they are all formed from the glucose. These are all the various kind of precursor metabolites that are formed during the process of glycolysis or TCA cycle. They are all further channeled into the various biosynthetic pathways mainly to produce the different structures of the cell. Okay, from where they are getting this glucose? This glucose can be obtained by an autotrophic organism by carbon fixation. That is, any kind of autotrophic organism can be able to convert the atmospheric carbon dioxide into cell carbon and that can be used for the other process. Whereas, if you look at into an example of a heterotrophic organism, you may aware that most of the bacteria are heterotrophic in nature. So, they will be using a preformed carbon. A classical example is shown there. A leaf has been shown there in the background. So, leaf is a organic polymeric substance that have been abundantly present there in an earth environment. So, this leaf need to be degraded with the help of certain enzymes that are secreted out of the bacteria. That is, bacteria produce an enzyme called cellulase which is involved in the digestion of the cellulose molecule. So, the cellulase enzyme is synthesized there in the bacteria and it will be excreted out. There, it acts on the cellulose molecule and cellulose molecule are finally converted into monomeric units of glucose. That glucose has been taken inside along with different kinds of nutrients like sulfur, phosphorus, nitrate. These are all will be taken inside that results in the formation of the various precursor metabolites which I have listed here. These precursor metabolites that are of a glycolysis or through TCA cycle origin are all further channeled there into the biosynthetic reactions which also required the other nutrient which I already listed such as sulphate and ammonia. So, this process is referred as an anabolic process. Whereas, how the complex sugars or sugar is degraded and releases energy is referred as a catabolic process. Both these process together forms into the metabolism of an organism. Further, through various biosynthetic reactions, a little more complicated monomeric building blocks that are required to form the cellular components are produced. That is, fatty acids, a large molecule of a polymeric sugar, amino acids of more than a 25 numbers, nucleotides, these are all referred as the building blocks of the cell. Further reactions polymerize these monomers to form into a macromolecules. Say for example, fatty acids makes into the lipids of the membrane which constitutes about 9.1 percentage there in the cell. They can go into the lipopolysaccharides. Sugars are getting into lipopolysaccharides or they can form into a stored polymer called glycogen inside the cell and sugars were also required for the synthesis of the monomeric subunits of the peptidoglycan that is N-acetyl glucosamine and N-acetyl muramic acid. The next one are amino acids that are required to form the protein of the cell which constitutes up to 55 percentage of the cell's content. The nucleotides makes into the two important molecules that is RNA which constitutes of a 20.5 percentage and DNA of 3.1 percentage by weight in the cell. 
these macromolecules or biomolecules interact among themselves to produce into the various structures that makes about a bacteria say for example lipids lipopolysaccharides are involved there in the making of the membranes and especially lipopolysaccharides constitutes into the outer membrane of the gram negative bacteria glycogen are involved there as a inclusion substance inside the cell that is they constitutes polyhydroxybutyrate polyphosphate granules and even magnetosomes that are serving as an important reserved source of carbon there inside the cells that is the uh, stored form of carbon and nitrogen will be coming under the category of the inclusion bodies the next one is a peptidoglycan which you already have that makes into the cell envelope and also in the glycocalyx and in the cell wall proteins are associated there with the formation of the flagella pili structures and even they can present there in the cytosol that is in the cytoplasm along with the trna and the mrna that are commonly referred as the nucleoproteins they can also associated there with the formation of the ribosomes the next one constitutes the nucleic acids that are required to be in the formation of nuclei which serve as a center for the carrying of the hereditary informations apart from that the dna and rna are having a role there during the cells replication process and in the transcription and translation process